Hello everyone and welcome to Vegas Showbiz. We are Jessica and Michael Pellegrini. In today's video, we're excited to give you a review of Carrot Top's comedy show. We saw him perform last night at the Luxor. It was Jessica's first time seeing Carrot Top. My second time, but the first time was way back in 2005 or six, so it's been a long time since I've seen him. Uh, we really enjoyed the show. We're gonna give you our thoughts on his performance. Uh, we'll talk about the venue that he played in at the Luxor. And then if you stick around for the end, we've got a nice little pro tip for you, which is a guaranteed way to save a lot of money on Vegas show tickets. We'll explain how we saw Carrot Top and so many other Vegas shows for an extremely low price. So please stick around for that at the end. Before we get into all this good stuff, we just have one small favor to ask. If you could please help us out by subscribing to the Vegas Showbiz YouTube channel, we would really appreciate that. We're trying to grow the channel and your support by subscribing goes a long way. So please help us out again, just hit that subscribe button and that's really all we ask. Uh, with that said, we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. Um, we'll let Jessica start off. It was her first time seeing Carrot Top and it was what she wanted to do last night. It worked out in our favor, so I'll let you uh, kick it off. What'd you think? Okay, so Carrot Top has his own style of, comic, of comedy. Mm -hmm. It's um, what you would call like prop comedy. Mm -hmm. um, and I, that's not, most comics or most comics that we've seen, I, I've not seen that. Maybe a couple of props here and there, but his whole show was very prop heavy. Yeah, yeah. Um, which was, interesting and different for me it was he was funny he was maybe not as um r-rated as i was expecting totally. I kind of thought he had more of um i just thought that his bit would be dirtier than i it did was. too yeah i mean there are certain props and things that are a little bit more adult humor a little bit more sexual but it's really only a small portion of the show right and i i guess for whatever reason i thought that he focused on that more heavily than he did yeah I mean, and that's neither here nor there he was funny he was talked about or excuse me he did talk about current events yes. which you know i think every good comic has to right um not a lot of audience participation which i feel like a lot of vegas comics do that's a good point he did not mm -hmm. uh, very little i shouldn't say he, he did didn't come out at all. that one point one point and he kept going back to the to bud the light poor, sponsor thing poor guy there's yeah. one guy that he kept picking on <laughs> but funny. most of the bits that we've seen here in vegas are kind of heavy on um audience participation and this one really wasn't yeah yeah that's a good good point um I think it's worthwhile to note that Carrot Top has been around for a long time. Seriously. He showed a clip from the early 90s, was it? Um, I think that might have been like late 80s. I don't know. Late 80s, early 90s. Are you talking about the Star Search thing? Yes. He McMahon? goes all the way back to the Star Search days. Yeah, which, yeah. Um, you know, some of you might not remember that because you're too young. But he has been around a long time. I really didn't realize that. I didn't mm -hmm. realize how old he was. I still don't know exactly how old he is, but he looks good for his age. I mean. Right. Yeah. His appearance has changed a bit. It has changed a little. It's I less struggle carrot. to say anything because <laughs> I don't want to sound um, judgmental, but um, he came out on stage and I was like, is that Carrot Top? Yeah. He looked a little bit like a bum. I, mean. I called it um, homeless rock star was <laughs> yes. my, my thought on it. He has dreads, which dreads are fine. Sort but of. They're like getting there very ratty and then yeah. he you know his whole spiel has always been to dress kind of funny yes uh he had on like a lot of glitz but then sequin long but sleeves. then with track pants and right. it's just very funny he's right. a very odd man um very unique yeah. but you can and i remember there was a while there i feel like it was maybe 10 years ago or whatever where he was like extremely muscular mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. i you know i don't want to make assumptions but um he was quite fit and you could tell you know I, that had gone down a little bit but he's still like he looks good man oh, i mean yeah. he's trim and in shape and like you can tell he takes good care of himself but the whole like rat's nest hair thing and i only say that because this is somebody whose performance name is literally based on their hair right, right. so i feel like it's fair game i wouldn't well, normally attack somebody's appearance all but. the posters that you see around town his hair is very prominent and yes it didn't even look that red, which that was right. my first thing was like, right. it's not red. Right. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It just it, caught us a little bit off it guard. It did. It really did. I, I wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Um, but he is funny. I mean, oh, he, yeah. how can you not be? He's been performing in Vegas for, I think he said 28 years. Yeah. I mean, he was creeping up on his 10,000th show. They yeah. keep a counter So, I mean, you, you can't, you, you have to be talented to withstand the Vegas crowds for that long. For I mean, sure. like the yeah. residencies around here, that is an extremely long residency. It, I mean, it's got to be one of the longest out there. Yeah. And he was voted, what, like number three on 
Vegas's like top performers list or mm -hmm. whatever from mm -hmm. last year. And what was number one? It was like Barry Manilow or something. And number two was Donny Osmond. Oh, Donny Osmond. You're right. That, that was, was number like, two. What? And the whole crowd was just kind of like, really, as he's going for you know these these people. And then they, and he was number three, number and everybody three erupts. Winner, you know. Yeah. Um, it was, yeah, he was good, man. I mean, you already mentioned it, but I think it's worth stating again. He keeps it fresh. He keeps it current. I mean, current stuff in the news talking about the, the recent White House scandal where they found traces of cocaine and <laughs> that stuff. That was so and, you know, funny. And, well, I always knew there were straws on the front of that building. I mean, that was so <laughs> funny. <laughs> he is so funny. And I think, you know, again, it's a unique style of, of comedy yeah. to me. I just... I. A lot of comics will use a prop here and there, but his whole bit is one prop one after, after the another, other, after yeah. the other. Right. And it's become his thing, I guess. Right. I would recommend it. I thought he was funny. Uh, we had great seats. We'll tell you how we got great seats here soon. Yes, we'll um, get to that in a second. And, you know, we don't spend a lot of time at the Luxor, so I can't really speak on that. But the theater itself was actually nice and larger than i expected it was bigger than i expected yeah it was a, and it was sold out i mean nice big crowd right. in there um the opener i didn't we were actually running kind of late the parking situation at the luxor was a nightmare and it was we hate to be late for anything and so we're like running through the casino trying to get there on time and everything and we got there we missed part of the opening act but saw like the second half of it and then we got to see all of carrot top right um but yeah i mean just a a, a wide range of comedy you know a little bit of the dirty stuff a little bit of the current event stuff the props are good Good, the gags you can tell that he is just so seasoned mm -hmm. and so good at what he does you know I just I, I really enjoyed it I, I can't really see you know too many adults going to that and not enjoying themselves you know yeah, because it was a wide variety of things that he covered exactly and so there was a little bit of something for everybody and the crowd was into it man I mean it was right. it was a good energy I think also to say a lot of comics around here tend to go very political he really didn't not I mean yeah he talked that. about the White House scandal but it wasn't a in a political sense. Yeah. Which yeah. a lot of people are turned off by that these right. days. So I think it's worthwhile to say that he, he didn't really do that. He did brief impressions of the last two presidents. You know, he did his Trump thing a couple times. He did a Biden thing, but it was very brief. It's a, just a sliver of it. You know, right. I, I don't think that too many people are there for a lot of political humor and, and you know, it, it, I think it's for the best really. Right. I mean, I his props just carry the show and it's one thing after another. It's so smooth and just, it's well done. You right. know, I really enjoyed it. I also think that he would be somebody that you could go and see again. You wouldn't want to sure. go see him say next month, but maybe next year. For sure. Because he keeps it fresh. He exactly. keeps it current. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah. So definitely recommend it. Um, yeah. Pro tip that we wanted to share with everybody. We actually secured our seats for this show on a website called houseseats.com. Mm -hmm. They are available in several cities, but we obviously only do it for Vegas. Mm -hmm. It's a year subscription. It gives you- uh, um, They have other terms as well. I think two months is the shortest subscription okay. that they do. But and we have, up to two years. Yeah, we got two years for the price of one actually. Mm -hmm. It was a great yeah, deal. Yeah, great. And let's just say like we've seen so many shows now for, for free. I mean, it's just the, subscription one-time payment you don't have to pay anything additional to see any of their shows mm -hmm. um carrot top was a ticket that was a little bit harder to secure we've been part of house seats for this year this calendar year so about six months mm -hmm. and we've only seen his tickets pop up a few times yeah as soon as we saw that yesterday we were like claiming those yeah, you know right done. away we wanted to go to a show last night so i i would say that his shows and one of that caliber are going to be a little bit more of their premium shows on house seats um, we've enjoyed all of them. Yeah. I definitely think it's worthwhile to check out for someone that's local here to Vegas or somebody that's coming into town and wants to check out some entertainment here. Yeah, I always say like, if you're coming to Vegas for the weekend or whatever, however long, and you're open to seeing a variety of different things, I mean, you can even purchase the two month house seats membership. I think two tickets or you know two members for two months is only like 49 or 50 bucks. And literally each day you can claim tickets to, you know, you can do a comedy show one night, you could do uh, you know like a magic show or a concert or something the next. They have flyover. They actually yeah. even have salon services. I mean, they offer all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so. and you just claim it, you mm -hmm. know? I mean, it's not free, but you're paying such a good price for for this House Seats membership that you're, you're really getting a great value. Yeah, and let's say something that's worthwhile noting that our seats have always been good. Last night, we were late to the show, which again, we hate doing. Our seats were in the middle of the theater. Dead center. A fantastic of to a sold out show our free tickets were great and we've sat in the front row several times. Of times like 
it's it's definitely been a good deal for us. We highly recommend it. Yeah, yeah. Check out House Seats, and actually, I'll put a, uh, we have a referral link for that, so I'll put that in the description of this video. Um, if you're going to check them out, go ahead and use that, and uh, we would appreciate that. But yeah, I can't speak highly enough. I mean, I'll, I'll say the only drawback is if you you really want to see some major residency or major show, you're you're probably not going to get that. You're just going to have to buck up and pay for those. But again, if you're flexible, and there's so much great entertainment in right. this town, I mean, you just cannot go wrong. If you're flexible and you just want to have a good time and and claim something every day you can go ahead and do that and you know if we wanted to go and see carrot top again literally like a week or two from every now we could days. claim it again mm -hmm. yeah and do it again if we want so right. assuming it came became available there are certain shows that are available pretty much daily stuff like carrot top that's a little bit more prominent is less frequent especially on a saturday but we were able to make it work so it's mm -hmm. pretty cool so. okay like and subscribe please yeah yeah please help us out we're trying to grow it again so if you could subscribe uh, that would mean a lot but we hope you enjoyed the video and we we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one Thank you. Bye.